Hey guys, it's Dan here. Um, this video is just going to be a quick video to help you get started with Key Search. It's not going to be a full uh, tutorial. Um, those you can find on the tutorials page, but uh, this is just going to give you a quick rundown of a lot of the features and just help you get started with the tool. So when you first log in, you'll see that uh, you basically just have a blank screen here and this is you're on the keyword research page. So this is where you could start your keyword research. So let's just uh, put in a word, Canon printers. Then you could select your location. I'm just gonna leave it to all locations and you could select what is gonna get you the search suggestions. Keyword Planner, Google Suggest, Bing Suggest, YouTube, Amazon. You could even grab your competitor's keywords uh, check other ad networks keywords that aren't Google so it makes it uh, just more keywords you could choose from so there's a lot of options here so we're just gonna stick with keyword planner um, so when you press search just gonna go out and grab the results for key uh, the keyword Canon printers from keyword planner and there you go and now you'll see you got your difficulty a search trends chart you got your difficulty breakdown of the front page of Google to see how difficult it would be to get on the front page. Um, you got uh, some extra search suggestions that Google has given us. Um, and your domains, basically what this is, is showing you which domains might be available. You could just click the domains and switch which ones you wanted to check. Um, then we have our deep analysis uh, button right here. What this does is go and dives in even deeper uh, if you wanted to and grab even more information about that particular keyword. Um, this you don't have to do. It just gives you a little more information. You can see you got uh, trust flow, citation flow, Alexa, the domain age, stuff like that. And it also gives you some LSI keywords that are showing up in the front page results. So it really lets you dive into your keyword and uh, really just get in there and, and figure out whether this keyword is something that you're gonna attempt to go after and rank for. Um, you could export this information to PDF, to uh, CSV, but the heart and soul of Key Search is the difficulty. Uh, so you could check difficulty in bulk. So well, you could click as many as you want. And you'll see they'll all just come up with uh, the difficulty check. And you could flip through them like so really easily. Just go click right through them. You could also filter. We've got a filter right here. So let's say we wanted to filter uh, search volume 1,000 to 2,000 and anything with a cost per click over $2. So we filtered that out, we're left with 13 results. So we can just select all there, and then this bulk check, we'll bulk check all of these results right there, which is very cool. And you can see we got a couple of keywords in there that we might be able to rank for. Um, and then we, you could save your keywords. So if you wanna do, let's say, we wanted to save a couple of these guys um, into a list. You click the save keywords and it lets you select a list uh, that you already um, had or you could add to a new list. Um, so this just allows you to save keywords there. Then we have what's called the compare feature which is really cool. You click that and it's going to go out and compare these three keywords and show them side by side for you. Uh, so you could see these three keywords, all the information for these keywords. Actually, I think it's four keywords now I'm looking at it. Um, and it you could just compare them really quickly right in front of your eyes. And you could also download as PDF, download as CSV. And the same with the search results. We have tons of export options for white label purposes. If you wanted to export to PDF, you could put in a custom name, a custom header URL. So there's a lot of cool stuff if you wanted to... Um, possibly you know find keywords for other people and just export these PDFs with all this information. So that's uh, the research page. I know I'm going through this quick guys but I just want to give you an overview of everything. Then we have what's called the quick difficulty which is very similar to the research page but what this does it doesn't give you search suggestions you just basically type in uh, 
keywords, select your location, and it'll just go out and bulk check them. So let's see, iPhone 7, iPhone 6, uh, sorry, um, and Samsung. So if you do that, you'll see it'll bulk check these real quick. So it's just a quicker way to get uh, difficulty scores. And same thing, you could flip through them. We have our same uh, save keywords option, compare, export, things like that. You could also open this button right here and just type your keywords in as a list rather than comma separated like I did. But this just lets you type in your own keywords or add your own list and just get difficulty and some metrics for whatever keyword you'd want. So that's what the quick difficulty page is for. One last thing on the research page, guys, sorry, I forgot to show you the history. You could open up your history here with this folder and this will show you your past searches and all you gotta do is uh, click on that and it will load up a past search that you had and we cache searches for about two weeks or so and then we, uh, uh, we get rid of them because the information's changed. So, um, but you'll have your history here, and let's keep moving. So we go to the My List page. Is where you can see the lists that you've made. Um, any keywords that you had saved, you can uh, just check through your list. You have options to export the list, export to PDF, or you could send the keywords uh, that you've selected here. If we wanted to select these, uh, you could just send them to our rank tracker and it'll just add them into the rank tracker. So if we went send to tracker, oh, there you go. And then you select you which URL in the rank tracker you wanted to track these keywords for and which search engine and whatnot. So it just makes it easier for some of the keywords you saved to just get in there and add to the tracker if you're attempting to rank for them. Now on to the link analysis section. Um, this is where we have our backlink checker and our URL metrics. So um, the backlink checker is very cool. Let's just give a search for keysearch.co. So you can search the entire domain or just get backlinks for that specific page. But let's go out and get entire domain. And you'll see we get a chart that shows basically um, when the links have been found. So the trend of uh, how many uh, the crawler, how many links from the sites you're checking the crawler has found and over what time. So are you gaining more links? Or are you losing more links as time goes on? Um, and then we have some metrics here. You can see your top anchors. You could show more of the anchor text. Um, that have shown up and then here are all your backlinks. You got do follow, incoming links to the domain that's linking to you, you got your anchor text, you could click on the links and check them out. And you could also, as usual, filter. Um, so if you wanted to show only the do follow links, you could filter and there you go, you'll see it's only showing do follow links. So basically uh, it's just a backlink checker, but um, we've done some really cool stuff with it, so I think you guys will really like it. Um, URL metrics page. This page, um, you could just type in some URLs, as you could see, and then it's just going to go out and grab some popular metrics for those URLs. Um, so you see it'll go out and get PA, uh, page authority, domain authority, trust flow, citation flow, Moz rank, Moz domain rank, the incoming links, uh, some Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn. So it's just a quick way to get metrics on um, domains or pages or whatever you like. So it's uh, this is also very useful, especially for those who go domain hunting and stuff like that. Then we have our YouTube research, which is exactly the same. I'm not going to go over it in this video, but it's exactly the same as our keyword research section, except it deals with YouTube. So you could see, um, you could check uh, the difficulty of how hard it would be to rank a video on YouTube. And all the other options are the same, except once again, we just use YouTube as uh, the difficulty check. And you have stuff like age, views, likes, dislikes, that it all takes into account our algorithm to come up with the score um, that it's giving you. 
Then we have our rank tracker. So you click on the rank tracker and it's going to load up and basically you could add a URL, if whatever URL you wanted to track. And then you see I got a few in there right now. You could expand, you could collapse. Um, so here's key search. If I wanted to add more keywords, just add keywords. Uh, could just add them in there. I'm not going to do more right now. I already got a bunch being tracked. You could delete the URL and then you could view a uh, chart showing your keywords ranks over time. This allows you to recheck the keywords ranking um, on the spot. Um, and then you could add secondary URLs to track the keywords. So like, uh, let's say we were looking at keyword competition analysis and uh, I had a competitor, um, let's say SEM Rush was one of my competitors, I could add that URL in there. And then when I click to check the results that are coming up, it would highlight SEM Rush in there as well. So I could see them if they were on here. Oh, they are on there. So that's how the secondary URLs works. It just uh, allows you to keep track of your competitors when you're viewing the actual search results within the rank tracker. Um, and then you could group URLs, you could set up email notifications, you could get reports for your rank tracking and all that good stuff. So the My Account area will show you the credits you have remaining. You could go into the settings. You could upgrade, uh, which we highly recommend. Um, you could also grab your API key here. And what your API key is going to be good for is the API. You could use that if you want. But of course, the browser add-on. Um, the browser add-on, you just download for Chrome or Firefox, put it in, and then let's check it out. Let's check uh, dog training. So when you install, just one click install really quick, you'll see our little icon pops up. So you just click on it and then click check competition. And there we go. It's going to give you, you could check uh, keyword competition right from your browser, which no other service does. It's really cool, especially if you're doing local, any sort of local, um, trying to rank locally and stuff like that, because your browser is really going to have the information that you want to see. So this is outstanding. We definitely recommend you install the uh, browser add-on and that's where you can find your API key for it in the settings area. We got news. You can order articles um, for your keywords. Uh, for those affiliates, you can grab some affiliate links and help promote key search. Um, and of course, you got your support links. So that's it, guys, for the brief overview. Um, we have more tutorials. We're always making more tutorials. Um, so you know, you can could, you could check out those if you want more in-depth about what the tool is doing. But other than that, just start searching keywords and searching difficulty and you should be all set. All right, guys. See you in the next video.